Excel allows you to link data between worksheets. This is a nice feature to pull related data from different worksheets in a workbook into a summary worksheet. If the linked cells change in their value, the linked reference automatically updates too. For instance, here I have a spreadsheet with sales for three salespeople. Let's say I wanted to summarize the sales for each of the three salespeople. To do that, notice that I'm on a different worksheet here, Sales by Rep, and I will come back here to my SW worksheet and pull my values from this worksheet. So here I need to select the cell where I want the total for each of the sales person's products to be listed. I'll start this off as a formula and then go to the worksheet where you want to pull your values. So I'll go to my SW worksheet and click on the first value or the first product sale. With that selected, then I can come up here and my formula bar and add a plus sign, add the second value, again a plus sign, and the third value and these are all for Jason Smith. And notice that up here in the formula bar, Excel is referencing what worksheet that value came from. So it's saying the SW worksheet. Once you have your formula created, go ahead and enter it, and notice that Excel will add up all three product sales. Now I'll do the same thing for Carly Ann Rogers, only this time I'm going to start my formula off as a sum function. So I'll come up here to my home, tab in my editing group and click the sum command and then immediately switch to my SW spreadsheet and I will click and drag down to indicate the range of sales that Carly Ann Rogers has made. And notice that up here you have your formula, then SW to indicate that it's coming from a different worksheet, and then the range of cells. And when I enter this, notice that it will tally up all of Carly Ann Rogers sales. Now I'll do the same thing for Jim Rogers. I will start this off as a formula by typing in an equal sign and then again go to the worksheet where you want to pull your information and Jim only has one sale. I'll simply select that cell and then press enter and it will link that cell over here to the worksheet. Now notice that if I change any of my data, let's say I'm going to change Jason Smith here from a product 1 to a product 2, which will change this amount to 802 and then enter that and when I come back here to my tallying worksheet, notice that Jason Smith's numbers have changed to reflect the new value. Let's go ahead and apply this to our project. So please open up 0910 start file. This is a file that I've already developed many of the sheets that are in it so that we can simply link those. Notice that if I come back here to week one this is the weekly tally of product sales and week two has been developed with product sales as well, week three and week four. And we are going to tally what the weekly profit was for each of the worksheets. So go ahead and set your cursor here in B4 and let's create a formula by typing an equal sign. And then go to week one sheet. Select that, scroll to the very bottom where you have your profit total and select that cell which is G37. Go ahead and enter that data by pressing enter and do the same for week two. Type in an equal sign, go to the week two worksheet, scroll down to the bottom to the profit, select that cell and enter it and then for week three do the same thing. Go to the week three worksheet, scroll to the bottom, select that and press enter. And then finally for week four, again, type an equal sign, go to your week four worksheet, scroll to the bottom, select the profit, and enter that. And notice that you have now created a summary worksheet of all the profit. And let's go ahead and label this column profit, total profit, and enter that. If you want to tally up your monthly sales, go ahead and select B9. And again, on your home tab in the editing group, select the sum command and enter that. And you'll see that we had a total of $1,636.50 for this month. Let's go ahead and format this with dollar number format. So we'll come up here again to our home tab, to our accounting number format of dollars, select it, 
and notice that you have now created a complete worksheet to summarize all the product sales and the profit in the monthly totals. Let's save this file as Sales Monthly and then move on to the next movie.